Differential cryptanalysis is a general form of cryptanalysis applicable primarily to block ciphers, but also to stream ciphers and cryptographic hash functions. In the broadest sense, it is the study of how differences in information input can affect the resultant difference at the output. In the case of a block cipher, it refers to a set of techniques for tracing differences through the network of transformations, discovering where the cipher exhibits non-random behavior, and exploiting such properties to recover the secret key. History the discovery of differential cryptanalysis is generally attributed to Eli Bivham and Adi Shamir in the late 1980s. It was noted by Bivham and Shamir that DES is surprisingly resistant to differential cryptanalysis but small modifications to the algorithm would make it much more susceptible. In 1994, a member of the original IBM DES team, Don Coppersmith, published a paper stating that differential cryptanalysis was known to IBM as early as 1974, and that defending against differential cryptanalysis had been a design goal. According to author Stephen Levy, IBM had discovered differential cryptanalysis on its own, and the NSA was apparently well aware of the technique. IBM kept some secrets, as Coppersmith explains. After discussions with NSA, it was decided that disclosure of the design considerations would reveal the technique of differential cryptanalysis, a powerful technique that could be used against many ciphers. This in turn would weaken the competitive advantage the United States enjoyed over other countries in the field of cryptography. Within IBM, differential cryptanalysis was known as the T-attack, or tickle attack. While DES was designed with resistance to differential cryptanalysis in mind, other contemporary ciphers proved to be vulnerable. An early target for the attack was the field block cipher. The original proposed version with four rounds can be broken using only eight chosen plain texts, and even a 31-round version of FEAL is susceptible to the attack. In contrast, the scheme can successfully cryptanalyze DES with an effort on the order 247 chosen plain texts. Attack mechanics. Differential cryptanalysis is usually a chosen plain text attack, meaning that the attacker must be able to obtain cipher texts for some set of plain texts of his choosing. There are, however, extensions that would allow a known plain text or even a cipher text only attack. The basic method uses pairs of plain text related by a constant difference. Difference can be defined in several ways, but the exclusive or operation is usual. The attacker then computes the differences of the corresponding cipher texts, hoping to detect statistical patterns in the distribution. The resulting pair of differences is called a differential. Their statistical properties depend upon the nature of the S-boxes used for encryption, so the attacker analyses differentials, where delta y equals ss for each such S-box s. In the basic attack, one particular ciphertext difference is expected to be especially frequent in this way. The cipher can be distinguished from random. More sophisticated variations allow the key to be recovered faster than exhaustive search. In the most basic form of key recovery through differential cryptanalysis, an attacker requests the ciphertexts for a large number of plain text pairs, then assumes that the differential holds for at least R-1 rounds, where R is the total number of rounds. The attacker then deduces which round keys are possible, assuming the difference between the blocks before the final round is fixed. When round keys are short, this can be achieved by simply exhaustively decrypting the ciphertext pairs one round with each possible round key. When one round key has been deemed a potential round key considerably more often than any other key, it is assumed to be the correct round key. For any particular cipher, the input difference must be carefully selected for the attack to be successful. An analysis of the algorithm's internals is undertaken. The standard method is to trace a path of highly probable differences through the various stages of encryption, termed a differential characteristic. Since differential cryptanalysis became public knowledge, it has become a basic concern of cipher designers. 
New designs are expected to be accompanied by evidence that the algorithm is resistant to this attack, and many, including the advanced encryption standard, have been proven secure against the attack. Attack in detail. The attack relies primarily on the fact that a given input-output difference pattern only occurs for certain values of inputs. Usually the attack is applied in essence to the nonlinear components as if they were a solid component. Observing the desired output difference suggests possible key values. For example, if a differential of 1 equals greater than 1 of the input leads to an output difference in the LSB, occurs with probability of 4 256, then for only four values of inputs is that differential possible. Suppose we have a nonlinear function where the key is Z before evaluation and the values that allow the differential are 2, 3, and 4, 5. If the attacker sends in the values of 6, 7 and observes the correct output difference it means the key is either 6XORK equals 2 or 6XORK equals 4, meaning the key is either K equals 2, 4. In essence, for an n-bit nonlinear function one would ideally seek as close to 2 as possible to achieve differential uniformity. When this happens, the differential attack requires as much work to determine the key as simply brute forcing the key. The AES nonlinear function has a maximum differential probability of 4 256, meaning that in theory one could determine the key with half as much work as brute force. However, the high branch of AES prevents any high probability trails from existing over multiple rounds. In fact, the AES cipher would be just as immune to differential and linear attacks with a much weaker nonlinear function. The incredibly high branch of 25 over 4R means that over 8 rounds no attack involves fewer than 50 nonlinear transforms, meaning that the probability of success does not exceed PR attack PR best attack on SBOX 50. For example, with the current SBOX AES emits no fixed differential with a probability higher than 50 or 2 minus 300 which is far lower than the required threshold of 2 minus 128 for a 128-bit block cipher. This would have allowed room for a more efficient SBOX, even if it is 16 uniform the probability of attack would have still been 2 minus 200. There exist no bijections for even-sized inputs, outputs with two uniformity. They exist in odd fields, using either cubing or inversion. For instance S equals X3 in any odd binary field is immune to differential and linear cryptanalysis. This is in part why the MISTI designs use 7 and 9-bit functions in the 16-bit nonlinear function. What these functions gain in immunity to differential and linear attacks they lose to algebraic attacks. That is, they are possible to describe and solve via a SAT solver. This is in part why AES has an affine mapping after the inversion. Specialized types. Higher-order differential cryptanalysis. Truncated differential cryptanalysis, impossible differential cryptanalysis, boomerang attack.